Yeah, I can't really sleep, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stream some uh, what you call it some some Zelda and yeah, it's like four in the morning right now, but you know what? Hey, who cares? So uh, welcome back. Uh, last we left off, I said I was gonna be taking care of Catfish Mall today, and I'm gonna do that. So let's let's take care of that right now. I want to try to get the hook shot as fast as possible, so that we don't really have to worry about it. I did not know that the Sunfish song can actually have you teleport. That's actually kind of cool to know. I think it's. I think I just forgot about that kind of like little detail and stuff. Eh, it's been a while since I. Like I said, it's been a while since I played the original version of this game. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta give. Uh, I gotta give this fishing hook to the fisherman. I believe it was. Let me open up this one down here. It was down here by the bay. Give me a second. It's a little slow, but you know, hey, that's fine. Somewhere over here, I think. I think we can enter that area by uh, by Animal Village. So let me just actually go down this way. And how are you guys doing today? I figured I should ask you now instead of asking it like somewhere <laughs> awkwardly at like at like I don't know an hour in or something. We I don't think we're gonna go too long. Maybe an hour and a half at most. I think though I said I was gonna try to do like three dungeons, maybe two, two or three at most. It's just right, right now I've just been trying to get the side quest done a lot. Oh god. But I, I do want I don't want this to take too long because later this week we are still doing Tears of the Kingdom, so yes, I, I do plan on playing that game. That's why that's why I've kind of been doing some some games back to the back. One of the biggest ones was Pokemon. Now that we finally finished that, I get my schedule's a little more opened up a little bit more. That's why, kinda, that's why I decided only to do two games this month, and the next month we do something a little bit bigger. Yeah. Because I feel like, honestly, those those two games itself, being both Tears of the Kingdom and Fall in uh, Survivor, I feel like this is going to take a good amount of my time. But we'll see, honestly. I think we need also 30 more, 31 more rupees to get our, to be able to get the bow. I know some people said we don't really need to buy the bow, but I just want to buy it. Mostly for collection purposes, like completion purposes and stuff. But don't worry, I'll... I'm sure I'll figure, I'll try to figure out secrets and stuff for certain things. I think if I remember, you can't get you can't get there from the animal village. Let me see. All right, let me go one more. I'm just happy that now that we have the flippers, it should be easier for us to swim across things. Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah, let me get my off the wall. My art piece, and it is dark in my room, so I can't see shit. I have to use a flashlight. I apologize about that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so so far we need to do seven for the heart pieces, seven, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow, only three. Yeah, look at that, not bad. Hey, we're almost done. We're almost done with it, so not bad. All right, so I believe the en the entrance to Marta Bay is down this way. But before we do that, I want to go speak with the fisherman, so I can give him the uh, fishing. Yeah, right here. This is the one. Okay, I can drop. All right, cool. We get the rocks cape. Yeah, there you go. Oh, what's what's that you have in your in your hand? It's a fishing hook. It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better you had better let me have it. I'll give you this. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Keep your eyes open and watch. A pro at work. For some reason, this guy's this, for some reason this guy's in New Yorker, but you know what? My, that's a big one. All right, sweet. The necklace. Who do I give the necklace to? I don't know. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Who would I give the necklace to? By the way, I think that's where another one of the seashells is. Okay, so now we have the entrance to Catfish Mall. I'm going to go right now. I just want to get the seashell down here. Okay, let's see. 
Should I get, um, I feel like I should get, probably get some magic powder. Okay, let's see. I think I did get this one, but I don't know. No, I didn't. Okay, what was the Marta Bay one? That is 18. Where's my pencil? Okay, let's see. 18. All right, cool. Wait, what? Did I, did I already, I marked 18. What the fuck? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's, this is, tw I'm so sorry. This is 20. <laughs> I was looking at 20. I have the screen open for some reason. I looked at 20, and, but I was looking at seashell. I was looking at the title of seashell. I don't know how I did that. Which, by the way, um, I need to clarify something. Something happened yesterday. I re misread a chat member's message, and I want to apologize about that. Uh, that's on me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I think I really need to get checked for dyslexia. I just moonwalked out of there. That was fucking cool. It's fucking dopest shit I've ever seen in my life. You know, actually, let me go to a trendy game. I, I think I think you can you can get some powder there. Yeah, let me go see him. Yeah, I, 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 I reread the message yesterday and I was like, oh, no. So it's on me. <laughs> I'm going to also stack up on some hearts while we're here. Shit, I forgot. Yeah, there's two entrances. I gotta take the one all the, on the east side. On the west side, fuck. And yeah, no worries. Okay, let me go down this way. Yeah, push the stairs, that makes sense. Wait, you ever, you ever just gone down the stairs and try to push out air just to see if there was any resistance? I do that all the time, and that's how I break a lot of my elbows. Okay, let's uh, open up this real quick so I can do the trendy game. Just so I can get some powder. I don't know how much you can get in total. I feel like it's infinite. Maybe like 99 or something. Somewhere around there. It's like bombs. You can get a lot of bombs. Alright, let's see if we can try to get this magic powder. I want to see. I haven't played this game in a, in a minute, so I gotta see if I, if I know how to do this properly. Okay, gotcha. Right, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go another do another circle. So I think if um, I gotta drop it when the rupee comes, like right here. Ah, too early. A little bit after the rupee. Okay, no worries. I think I'm gonna get. I think I could get in this rotation if I'm fast enough. Let's see. Come on, come on. Oh fuck! I need, I need. I need some powder. That's why. I know you can buy it from the witch, but I think you need to light her room first before you buy it. All right, so no worries. I think that might be too late or too soon. We're going to a dungeon, so we're gonna get like 50 rupees, so a good amount of time, so it should be fine. Okay, maybe, uh, Right here should be good. Yeah. Is that too soon? 
Yeah, it's too soon. God damn it. Uh, oh well. Is I think there's another way I can't get magic powder. Hold on, let me see. I know from buying the witch, but uh, for some reason I couldn't buy it last time. I have to put Link's Awakening because I can't just put where to get magic powder. Because <laughs> that's going to look like a really weird search result. Okay, uh, how to get more magic powder. Magic powder locations, trendy game, of course. Uh, magic powder farm. How do I farm it, though? Eventually, you are going to find a toadstool. Equip it. Breaking jars and defeating enemies will gain you magic powder and times again. Motherfucker, nobody, no fucking enemy has been dropping magic powder though. That's the, that's the thing that sucks. Oh well. I said bushes, but. You can't get a single damn bush to fucking drop magic powder. Oh well, I'm gonna try it one more time at the trendy game. If it doesn't work, oh well. The reason why I want to get magic powder is because for the anti fairy, so that's why. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I got to my magic powder! <laughs> Alright, sweet. How much is that? Uh, ten. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go to the witch real quick, go see if I can get some more. the witches up here we passed her house like several times and yet i still can barely remember where the fuck it is what am i saying we have a map her house just for some reason looks like the first dungeon in, in legend of zelda so you know it's funny enough i did that i think that Links that and Links Links Adventure, like the two Zelda games, I barely have I, I barely have played in my life. Well, aside from the CDI games, of course. Nobody fucking plays those games unless you're like a YouTuber or something. <laughs> Who's actually playing the CDI games for enjoyment? Alright then, never mind. That was a waste of fucking time. Oh well, fuck it. I gotta be, I gotta be conservative with my with my powder then. All right, whatever. Use the braces. One thing I like about the new version is there's certain items that just remain equipped throughout the entire game, like the. Pegasus boots and the brace and the bracelets, and of course the sword too. But I mean, I still do really enjoy this version of the game. I guess really because I just don't want to hear every two seconds. Of, God, I hate the art style. Like, dude, it's. I'm not a fan of the art style either. But you know what? Hey, I still like the game. I really like the anime cutscenes though. That's really cool. I thought that was really cool.
Though in all honesty, what do you think is the worst art design? What do you think is the worst Zelda art design? I mean, obviously some people are gonna say the CDI games, which is true. Because like, Jesus fucking Christ, man, are those some god awful fucking character designs? I don't know. I, I, I am aware that that's the original design of Link and stuff with the long nose, but like, Jesus Christ, long nose Link scares me. Especially Link laughing. It, it, it just looks really. looks terrifying. It, it scares children. Okay. <laughs> Some people are gonna be like, dude, that's a fucking classic, though. Yeah, no, it is. I don't think I've ever heard anybody defend CDI Link, let's be honest. I don't think I've ever heard anybody do it. Level 5, Catfish Mall. Let's do this, baby! We grab that. Thank you. Oh shit, I even see these things. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right, I need the hookshot for that. Or oh, sorry, spoilers. Oh hey, look at that, we've been getting the compass really fast now, that's pretty good. I, I think I'm gonna take damage though here. Let's see, uh, fingers crossed. Hey, look at that, no. Fucking show, fucking show me your ass, dude. Come on, let me fucking hit you. I really miss the gust jar. I really miss the gust jar. I think it was really cool. Okay. I'm pressing too late. That's why. Yeah, that's fine. Fucking parkour skills, baby. Aha! Look at that. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I like this the Stalfos in the green right there. He was like, <laughs> it looks like fucking Eric Cartman. Get them money. Oh yeah, isn't this with the... Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> There's like an enemy in this game. There's a type of Stalfos in this game where... Well, in this dungeon that you have to hunt down and stuff. I always forget that. It's kind of cool. A little tedious, but you know what? I, I kind of like the idea of hunting down a mini boss throughout the- like chasing a mini boss throughout the dungeon. That's kind of cool to do sometimes. Oh my god, can I not fucking get a hit? Thank you. How is that not counting? How? The fuck? Dude. Oh my god. There probably is another way to do that. What if I hit him with my shield? Does that do anything? Oh no, that just bumps you. Alright, there we go. I'll take it. You know, I'll take that. That's good.
Try to be fast about it. Oh, hey. Hey, guys, look, it's the it's Test Eagle from the guy we raided yesterday. Hey, man, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Oh, by the way, thank you for the fo thank you guys for the follow yesterday. I'm good. How about you, man? I saw that you guys were streaming, by the way. How was the stream? Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, sorry, my my ch my chat is for a little small for some reason. Here, let me fix that real quick. Uh, thank you, uh, Neural Soul. Appreciate that. Sorry, I have like a whole bunch of stuff on my second monitor for like guides and stuff. <laughs> so it's a little hard to read, but thank you guys. I appreciate that. And thank you for the raid again. Okay. Yes, testy raid, testy raid. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, welcome. We're just uh, currently going through the Catfish Mall dungeon right now. I'm trying to rely, do my best to rely on memory. Hold up. I'm doing well, just push through the third badge and my- Oh yeah, I forgot you are doing a ROM hack of uh, Fire Red. How'd that go for you, by the way? Who was the- who was the third- who was the third gym leader? Is it still Sergeant Surge, or is it like somebody else? Or sorry, Lieutenant Surge, not Sergeant. He didn't spend 20 years in the non-existent Pokemon army. To be called a Sergeant. <laughs> I still want to know what I still want to know what army Lieutenant Surge was in. I feel like he was in the same arm. He was in the same war as Guile was from Street Fighter. I was be like, yeah, we were in the war. The war where you got to use Pokemon and <laughs> Pokemon and Kung Fu moves. It's all the same. I busted him down to Private Surge. <laughs> I think if you're sur I think if your privates are surging, I, I think you might need to see a doctor about that. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> it's all the same, but there there's an added bits and pieces. Yeah, I think you mentioned something about it being a little harder. That's what you think. And um, Among Us, I caught a Mew. Oh, nice. There's a different. There's different. Okay, cool. Come on, turn around so I can hit you. You can catch uh, starters in the wild. Oh, cool! Somebody, uh, there's a, there was a game, a Pokemon game. Somebody, a viewer, got me into. I think it's called the uh, Revolution. I've been playing that a lot, and you can do that too. So it's kind of like a Pokemon MMO. It's pretty cool though. But I'll have to check out this uh, ROM hack. It sounds pretty interesting. Some random encounters are di are different too. Okay, I like a game that changes up the pace. Ah, shit, I went this way already. Let me take a right. <laughs> I walked into that one. Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. If you can't destroy a skeleton with your sword, try using a bomb. Okay. Oh, okay, so here's the first room. Gotcha. Can I, can I not hit him? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to have him swing at me first, that's right. Yeah, and then you gotta hit him with the bomb. Gotcha. Oh shit, I gotta keep an eye on my health. I 
can't beat you. I'm out of here. I forgot about how that encounter goes. Yeah, I, th I legit thought you're just supposed to like you're just it's like ah, you're usual like the usual uh, mini bosses where you just keep swinging at him endlessly. No, it's like, it's like the it's like how you're supposed to beat the Stalfos as a Twilight Princess. I got something that was inside this box. Actually, is that the voice I want to do for the skeleton? Meh. Come and get come and get it if you want. If you can! I don't know what he said after. I think he just said, yeah, man, yeah. Alright, give me some hearts. There you go, thank you. Get one more. Yeah, I'll take a rupee. Fuck yeah. Okay, hold up. What's down this way? I can see if there's another one of these. Okay, no, it doesn't respawn. Eh, that's alright. Maybe the cheap cheap's got something on them. Oh, sorry, they're not called cheap cheeps. Uh, what are they called? Did I do? I forgot you could just stomp on them. I forgot you could just do that. <laughs> sorry, what 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 is the what do they call them? In, what do they call cheap sheeps in Zelda? I don't know. Ripoffs. I'm kidding. It's only jokes. There's nothing wrong with reusing assets. One of my favorite games, literally, one of my favorite Zelda games, literally reuses assets. It's fucking Majora's Mask. Half of those are reused, like any. Half of those are reused. Uh, GameCube, it's not GameCube. <laughs> half of those are reused. Uh, and are reused. Uh, Ocarina of Time assets, so it's fine. All right, there we go. I need you to become a fairy. Damn it! Uh, well, there goes. There goes the true ending. Ah, oh, well, we could just you could just look it up on YouTube later. That's fine. It is a nice ending though, but oh well. I gotta bounce and go to bed. I was meant to I was meant to go to bed like half an hour ago. Nah, I feel that. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night, bro. Or uh, good morning, good evening, have a good stream. Thank you, man. And I hope you had one too. I hope you had a good one too. Alright, have a good night, bro. Okay, so let's see. Fucking why am I Oh my god! Stop turning around, let me hit you! Please! Stop! Dead. Dead. Ah, whatever, fuck it. Let me at least get some- let me at least get some health in here. Any hearts? Uh, let me see, no rupees? I mean, that's good, yeah. I do need to buy the bow soon, so... We gotta be positive about this, guys, come on! Get all- all gamers have to be positive. That's that's the true that's the true meaning of gaming is positivity and perseverance. Now I'm just turning into a fucking Barney episode. Try not to be too loud because I don't want to wake up my landlord, so <laughs> Thank God I at least have the AC that helps block the sound. It feels really nice now that I now that it finally got fixed. So, oh my God, was it hot? It, it was it hot to fucking record. Look, I, I'm a, I I don't have a problem living in in a hotter like climates and stuff. In all honesty, it's just that when I go home, I kind of want to have some level of comfort. I'm aware, yes, first world problems or some shit. It's, it's true. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie there. I, I do enjoy the comforts of AC and clean and clean water. I do. Uh, fucking. But man, it's just. I just got fucking launched down a flight of a flight of stairs. That was amazing. <laughs> it, it's just nice, not fucking. I don't know. Recording in a hot room. In all honesty. I remember in my previous apartment when I used to record when I used to stream when I when I first started streaming. I don't know why I said it like that. Streaming. Uh, I remember in my previous apartment when I first started streaming. I, I think I talked about this before. We had like we did have AC. The only thing is that it was only in one room, and it didn't go throughout the house. So like if it got really hot one day, uh, we had to open up all the like our bedrooms and stuff so that way. It we can feel it, and it, it didn't even work half the fucking time because all you would just hear is a loud squealing noise, and that was it. And that was our AC. 
and i would get i i got a well i did get like a window mountain one but like oh my god it was like the fucking po my power bill is so fucking high by the end of the month and i'm like ah uh, why did i get this shit and now the when i moved into the, this apartment they actually do have um the the electric bill is not too high but it is high it's still high but it's like it's reasonable i don't know california california's got way too many fucking bills for any everything i get you gotta pay bills for certain things was like everything it's like come on i'm not trying to have this sound turn into i don't want to pay bills well actually i don't want to pay bills anymore i don't care i don't care what anybody says i don't I don't care what the government says. I don't care what fucking the IRS is. I'm not paying my taxes anymore. Fuck it. I'm playing Zelda games for the rest of my life. That's it. The IRS could kiss my ass. Two days later, I get fucking audited. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to throw... Yeah, I'm supposed to throw a pod up there. All right, let me try that again. No worries. No? What gear? Hmm. What gear no break? Huh? I don't understand. Why no break? Hmm? Am I just turning into Mario for a second? Okay. <laughs> ah, well. Let me see if there's any bombable walls. Hold up, let me see. Before I start taking uh, suggestions from chat, I'll probably, um, I want to see if we can try to figure this out. But if, um, to any new viewers wondering if you want to help out and stuff, if, uh, usually if I say, hey chat, can I get some help? Then, yeah, you guys are more than welcome to chime in. If not, if you just want to lurk too, that's perfectly fine. I'm not, I won't think, I won't think ill of you or anything like that. Nah. I always appreciate a good lurker. I do it too sometimes, so if I got mad at somebody for lurking, that wouldn't be cool. All right, let me see. Maybe I can push it. Let me see. Or oh, there you go. Look at that. Ah, see, that's what happens when you use your noggin. <laughs> do I, I don't have any keys, do I? No. All right. Let me get the. Yeah, there you go. Oh shit. Oh sh fuck. They followed me. Alright, there you go. First try, baby. Nah, oh. Damn it. Alright, I need the cl Okay, I need the claw shot. That's fine. Okay. No worries. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good, man. Okay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. See? It's all good. I think by this point we should have had the bow, but you know, eh, fuck it. Stop, please. There you go, fuck yeah. Let me break these real quick so I can get some hearts. Anything? Please, please. Damn it. Ah, shit. Yeah, well. I wonder by any chance I could pu push it. No, I can't. Okay. I need to find that dungeon map, man. That That's really gonna help me. Yeah, this was a blocked off path, right? Yeah. Well, not really. You can still hop, jump at it. This is the only area I haven't gone. I still don't know what these star guys are. I really want to look up their name. I'm gonna do that right now. 
What are these names? You guys in chat are more than welcome to say anything too. Okay. See, so Link's Awakening. Enemies. Let's see. Okay, I mean, of course, yeah, the whiz. That's a whiz room? What? Nah, nah, nah. I'm sorry, I misread that. Okay, so there's Beetle, there's, uh, of course, Tektites, there's Crows, Buzz Bobs, uh, Kookman. That's what he's called, Kookman. Uh, Giant Ginny. Giant Gopanga Flower. Okay. Where's the, where's the where's the fucking star guy? Where's where's this where's the little star dude? Huh? Where's the little star dude at? Huh? Where's that guy? I like that guy. He's a pretty cool dude. I'm gonna invite him to my next birthday party. Let's see. Uh, where the fuck is he? Where the fuck is he? Uh, he better not be non-existent. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this. Come on. Ah, uh, you. You mo you motherfucker. Okay. Unless this whole time he wasn't just an enemy, he was just an NPC who existed, but due to all our violent, violent urges as gamers, we had to attack him on the first chance we ever saw him. Is that really is that really what it is? He wasn't really an enemy this whole he wasn't really an enemy this whole time. No, he was just he was just there existing. He was like a he was like the dungeon's curator, but we just attacked him out, out of spite, didn't we, huh? Because we couldn't quench our bloodthirst when we plays all the games. That's why we attacked him. I love how I'm blaming you too, because because <laughs> remember, it's also when you attend these chats. If we murder, if we murder an MP, if we accidentally kill an NPC, it's also your fault too. <laughs> Kidding. All right. Uh, let's see. Isn't there something down here? Yeah, there is. Hey, look, bloopers. Cool. Another Mario enemy. I I think actually doesn't fucking. I almost said Onigiri. Onigiri is not an enemy. There's a. The fuck's his name? No, not Onimasu. What the fuck? What the fuck's the fuck? Uh, giant ill dude. It's like, it's like, why can't I remember his name? It's like all the all the Mario enemies have like normal, like just like goofy names and stuff, and then there's out of nowhere, it's just like, like Japanese demon or something like that. It's something along those. What the fuck is that? What what is that eel's name? I swear to God, the the terrifying one, Mario eel. What is it called? We lit. I I literally call. I re literally said his name in the like the fucking Mario sixty four stream. What the fuck is his name? Why can't I remember him? Oni. Unagi. Oh, Unagi. Okay, that's what he's called. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> you go two seconds. It's like. Oh look, it's the Koopas, it's the it's the it's the paratroopas, it's the fucking uh, lac twos, bloopers, goombas, and then <laughs> un unagi, just unagi out of nowhere. That's what that was during uh that was during when Bowser was setting up the uh, hit, turning his castle into a fucking sit into a fucking Japanese fortress. I ain't gonna lie though, I, I ain't gonna lie though, I really like that design of Bowser's fort of Bowser's castle. No, personally, I'm always a big, I'm always a big fan of just like the usual like gothic castle with like in big fucking neon headlight, beyond big neon like letters, just saying Bowser over and over again. Hey, say what you want about Bowser, that man knows how to advertise. That dude knows how to advertise. I swear to God. And now, and now it's canon that he's a really good singer, so. Do what you will with that, do what you will with that, America. Hmm, let's see. I think I could bomb this wall, let me see. How about that one? How about that one? Whatever, fuck it. 
Maybe there, maybe there, is there an, is there a vulnerable wall? I don't think so over here. There, I feel like there is at least one somewhere in this dungeon. I don't fucking know where though. Yeah, 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 good job, Link. Good job. You made that discovery like 16 times already. Oh man, it seems like I can't break this puzzle. Oh, what am I gonna do? I don't fucking know. That's my canonical Link voice, by the way. Watch out, Zelda! I'm gonna come see. He's, he's just that one fucking guy from. <laughs> he's that one fucking guy from that Zelda commercial. He's that weird guy from the Zelda commercial. Whoa! Chick 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 tacks. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you. I show this commercial so many fucking times, but I love this commercial so fucking much because it's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna get this on screen for you. It's a. Uh, how, how do I how do I intro this? Uh, in the 1980s, there was a there. Well, of course, there, to get you to buy the Legend of Zelda, uh, they would make a lot of um, they would make a lot of like commercials and stuff. One of the famous ones was the Zelda rap. Uh, there was that uh, back in 2011. There was that Robin Williams Zelda commercial. There was that one that called you a bitch if you couldn't beat the game. I swear to God, there's an actual Zelda commercial that calls you... They don't call you a bitch, per se, but they actually insult you for, like, not beating the game properly. Let me see. Okay, Zelda commercial. It's my... This it, This guy is legit. My, I wonder who he is. I want to meet this guy because he seems like a very cool guy. But I don't know. I don't know what. How, I don't. He reminds me of that one dude from fucking uh, Ghostbusters Two, the the up out of his side guy. That guy was really cool. All right, here. Let me get this on screen so you guys can see the shit. Yeah, scroll down to my fucking <laughs> scroll down. Why don't we? Hey, let me lower the audio. Let me lower the audio real quick. Hold up. I don't know, for some reason, this uses the same fucking audio as, as, as anything, as my, for some reason, the desktop audio is always used, I don't know why, I need to switch that. But look at, look at this cool shit. <laughs> Watch Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! <laughs> Which way you go? <laughs> Good time. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, a never-ending and <laughs> I love that guy so much. He's so good. Zelda, Zelda. <laughs> See, people are people are talking about like how. Okay, let's say Link actually talks in Tears of the Kingdom. How funny would it be if that's the voice that comes out? Like everybody, everybody else is everybody else is just like, oh Link, you got to save it. He's like, don't worry about it. He's just turning into he's just turning into the Sonic that yes, Zelda commercials are always fun. They're they're a treat to watch, and I'm always glad to share them with you guys. But <laughs> he's he's literally just talks like '90s Sonic the whole time. Whoa, I'm out of here. <laughs> It's just added. It's just '90s Link. Link, we have to defeat Calamity again, and no worries about it, Princess. I'll get on my bike and I'll take him down. You like you like uh, you like Octorox? I'm so hungry I could eat one. All right, I'm done. I'm done fucking quoting. I'm done quoting Zelda CDI. There's probably some chat members that are visibly ill now that I've that now that I've said anything about now that I've quoted Zelda CDI. Gee, it sure is boring here. I wonder what get. Oh, I know it's the king. Somebody made a remake of that game, and I swear to God, there's some talented people, but sometimes there's certain arts that should there's certain things that should not see the light of day. I want to play the demake. Yeah, go for it. I I remember uh, what demake was it that I played? I, I played it last year. Oh, uh, Bloodborne. Yeah, I got a chance to play the uh, PS1 demake of Bloodborne, and that was really fun to play. But yeah, go for it. Demakes are always really fun to play. 
I remember when uh, Resident Evil 8 came out, somebody made a remake of that. And actually, no, it wasn't Resident Evil 8. It was just like footage, but it wasn't an actual game. There was legit, um... Funny enough. I don't know if this is real. Look, back to that blood, back to that Bloodborne remake. Somebody <laughs> legit um took the uh, took those uh, files from Bloodborne the remake and they made a Mario Kart spinoff starring Bloodborne characters, and it's called like Bloodborne. It's called like Bloodborne Kart. And the poster's supposed to be like the poster's just like straight up the Akira poster. It's really funny. I've never played it because I've never seen any footage of it. I've only seen that poster and that was it. And now I'm just wondering who the fuck would you play as a Bloodborne cart? I mean of course the hunter, but what is there? Like there's Gyarum, there's the doll, uh Lady Maria, Ludwig. Would love the wig actually show- I'm not talking about the streamer, I'm talking about like the actual like, hunter from Bloodborne. The guy who- the guy who- who you get that big sword from. Ah, I can't beat you! I think I'm out here. <laughs> E-Man will not learn- E-Man will not rule Eternia! I gotta lower my voice, it's like 5 in the morning. It really is. It's like actually like really late in the morning, but you know, fuck it, who cares? Okay, so there's a chest in here. Mm. What was that? Oh, shit. No, we don't have the dungeon map just yet, so. What game, what Zelda game was it that introduced where, before you get the dungeon map, uh, you start, do you start, like, tracing the, like, maps, not, like, actually drawing the maps, but I know that was introduced in, um, uh, what, what game was it, uh, uh, Phantom Hourglass, but, uh, there was, like, uh, I forgot what's, I think it was one of the 3D Zelda games where it's, every time you enter a room, it, the dungeon map gets filled out a little bit more. Just until you get the dungeon, the actual dungeon map. I think it was Ocarina that started that, so. I miss, I miss that mechanic. That was always one of my favorite mechanics, because it does help you get around, trying to figure out the layout of a map. But I mean, hey, this is a Game Boy, this is a Game Boy game that did come out in the 90s. You have to give it, it has, it does have certain limitations, so I don't try to expect it to be like, oh, it has to be like Ocarina. Nah, it's not. I mean, I'm, I still appreciate the game, nevertheless, even with its limitations. But if I, if I had to say... When it comes to Zelda games, I, I really prefer... And so many, some people might not like this. I do really prefer this one over Ocarina. I love Ocarina, don't get me wrong, but... When people ask me, like, what's a Zelda game I recommend, I always recommend Link's Awakening, because it's really fun. I really love this game. And right after it would be Majora, of course, and then Ocarina. But, uh... I have to say Link's Awakening is, like, just... It's just one of those games where it's... It, anybody, like, it, no matter what version you're playing, you can always enjoy it. Can, I mean, with now with the with the Switch remake, that you can I can recommend that because that's a little more easier for more current like modern players and modern like gamers and stuff. But um, I mean, this is always a, this version of Link's Awakening is still always fun to play. It's a little more. I think I, I I think I'm used to it because I'm so used to like this kind of like game, this kind of not mech mechanic, but um. Well, I guess, yeah, this kind of mechanic where only two buttons are used for items, and that's it. And... I guess, I think I got that, I think because... I'm used to playing games like Min- I'm used- because one of the first Zelda games was Minish Cap I played, I guess that's why I'm like, Oh, this doesn't really bother me that much. But I can understand, to certain players, they can... If the sword's not like an individual button, I can probably- I, I can sort of understand that a little bit. Okay. Why, why am I trying to think? I, I, 
I know where he's gonna be, he's in the other one. Shit. Though, if I had to say, when it comes to when it comes to how many times what Zelda game I've played a lot, it's always gonna be Majora. I've played so many fucking playthroughs of Majora at this point, I can't even count. I I just this and like as much as I love this game, I don't really do. I haven't done a lot of playthroughs of this game, in all honesty. This version I've done like probably like two, and the Switch version I've done only one. And I guess that's why, like, one of this is one of those games I really did want to stream. And I, I guess I never really got a chance to do it in the t for like the time I was doing. Because I think when I first started, I would, like the only Zelda game I was doing was was like fucking uh, what you call it, Breath of the Wild. And after that, like, I I kind of I kind of went back to the original Zelda. How did that go? I think it was like when. We started with Breath of the Wild, and then there was, uh, it was Majora's Mask, of course, because I wanted to do that for Halloween, because it's a spooky game, and it's a, it's a spooky month, so. Let well, me see my point. Uh, I think, oh yeah, it was, uh, Skyward Sword was after that. And, what the fuck, what did I do? What did I do after Skyward? Oh yeah, the, the, uh, that's when the, um, 4K, the 4K edition of Ocarina came out, and I, I wanted to check that out. And I'm aware that I, there was some chat members that didn't really enjoy that version of the game, and I completely understand. It, there's there's certain versions of games I don't personally enjoy, and I can understand that. So I I, I wasn't I didn't like like think too like much into it because like even I I've been in that boat too sometimes. Like I've said before, when it comes to ver certain versions of games, like the PC version of I, I, the PC version of Kotor is not a version I like. I enjoy playing, especially now that I stream. Uh, oh my god! I don't know how long I've spent trying to. I want to stream that game so bad, but like, I might get an. Uh, in all honesty, I might get an Xbox. Like, I used to have an X copy of it on Xbox, but I lost that, like, years ago. So I think I might just get a copy for, for like, for Xbox, and then we'll just go from there. The reason why, it's just, I don't know, it's like the fucking UI and shit in that game is just not the best. It, I mean, it is an old game from, like, the early 2000s, so I tried not to be too, like, on it. But, I mean, it is a game where I'm just like, I really want to play this, because, like... It, KOTOR is such a good game, and I fucking love it. It's, like, one of my favorite Star Wars stories. And I was really... I, I was really disheartened when I heard that, like, the entire team... The entire staff got, like, fired and stuff, and I was just like, oh man. So, hopefully... Hopefully, with everything... Hopefully that project still, like, comes up and stuff. But I don't know, because, like, a lot of projects right now are, like, getting cancelled. I heard that... I don't know if this is true, but one of the, one of the projects I've heard... This is going more on the side of film. Uh, the Mahershal Ali's version of Blade was recently cancelled. Like, the version that the film we were gonna get recently came under, like... I think it was not reshoots, but uh, what was it? What was the? What did the, I think it was like the project was canceled because of the recent like uh, the, the recent like writers' strike and stuff. Now I will admit I don't know much about the writers' strike. I have to do a little more research on that before I, I can say anything. I'm always the person who says I can't really give you my opinion unless I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know there's people out there who's who are like who will just say something without doing research. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's some people who do that. I'm, I'm usually a person who's be like, yeah, let me look some shit up first before I say before I sound like I'm talking out of my ass. And I will admit, I in the past I've have talked it. I, I have talked out uh, out of my ass, but really I've done it for the sake of comedy. I, I don't think I've ever like done it like too seriously and stuff. I. Sometimes it's fun to talk out of my ass, but I, I can understand why people wouldn't like it. 
But like I said, I do it for the sake of comedy. I don't do it for anything serious. Stop turning! There you go, thank you. Alright, let me get the hook shot. Now, is this the- No, I think, um, I think Link to the Past was the first game to introduce the hook shot, right? I believe so. Ooh, yes, nice. But, um, as I was saying... Actually, I lost my train of thought because it's the fucking hook shot, because the fucking hook shot is awesome. No matter which version of the game. Oh, look at that. So you can't take their faces. Ah, nice. Anyways, as I was saying, um... I, I think, yeah, the... The, uh, what is it, Link to the Past was the first to, was the first, uh, game, Zelda game to introduce. The hookshot. And then, of course, it was this game. Then Ocarina, and then... Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it's in Majora's Mask 2, where you can fucking, you can just randomly, you ran it. A lot of the dungeon items and, and a lot of the items in, in Majora's Mask aren't really found in the dungeons, which I kind of like. I, I don't know why, it kind of, I kind of like, I, I guess it's like the same reason why I really like Breath of the Wild. I kind of like that f openness you get when you find things. It's, I don't know, there's something really cool about just finding, like, weapon like finding like weapons or items out in the field not just like in it i mean the dungeon the whole aspect of finding items in a dungeon is still always going to be nostalgic to me and really cool because i mean it's like it's, it's the original zelda formula of course i'm going to be find that shit cool i don't even think zelda was the first ones to come up with that i'm pretty sure like just any fantasy story has done that and stuff i get that but uh i don't know it's just in recent, in recent times, I really do like just finding stuff out in the world. And I can't wait for when when uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I cannot- I know I keep talking. I'm just really excited for the game, guys. I'm sorry. I'm- I'm- I can't wait. I- It's just sitting in my Switch library right now, just waiting to be- Just waiting for- fuck. Just waiting to go, and when that- I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna play that- I might play that game on launch. Cause that's how excited I am for that game. I really enjoy- I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild, so I cannot wait to play it with you guys. I know there's probably gonna be some people who speedrun and stuff- there's probably- Okay, let me ask. How long do you think it's gonna take for somebody to ar figure out a speedrun for that game? How long? Do you wanna say like a week? I say, in all honesty, I feel like probably like four days after the launch because there's already like review i think reviewer copies are already being given out right now so it's, chances are pre pretty much everybody's figure pretty much a lot of like reviewers ha are figuring out exploits and stuff so i know some people are going to try to do the what is it the shield bomb jump which that one's actually a really cool move i still want to give it a tr learn how to do it properly so yeah oh, fuck Oh well. I just realized I might need the bow for this fight. I think I could fight him without it, but let me see. I wanna see I think I might need the bow, I don't know. I just wanna see if I can fight him without it. So I can deflect it. Is I able to deflect that? Hold up. I'll be honest. If I die here, I'll just uh, I'll just I'll just go outside and go by the bow. Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. You can also use the hook shot. Good to know. Fucking asshole, I don't know you can do that. Oh, fuck you! Alright, there you go, there's one. Nice.
but show me your eyes. Show me your eyes. Do it. Look into look upon my eyes. Ah fuck, I was too slow. God damn it. Here, let me get close so I'm a little faster. The fuck you just bang on? The fuck was that? You growl? What, what was that noise you just made? Oh, it just went vroom. Oh, fuck you. Not cool, you fucking asshole. Alright, whatever. Nah, too slow. Damn it. That's on me. Alright, there we go. Nice. Shit, shit. Open your eye, that's why when you stop, I think you're gonna open your eye, but when you start shaking, I gotta remember you're just gonna dash. Yeah, no worries. Alright, come on, open up your eyes. There we go, nice. Let's just be petty about it, fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> Now grapple onto things because I'm fucking I'm rad. This is me. Those things kind of look like Bowser for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of do. <laughs> right, let me go look for those other key. Let me go look for those other uh, keys. There's probably, yeah. Let me go check those areas. No worries, just gotta go back. It's it's fine, it's not the worst. Oh, let me switch back to the yeah, there you go. This thing's called the hook shot, but we're really just firing a fucking blade at somebody, so eh, fuck it. Because, yeah, that looks like a hook. <laughs> Not just a buzzsaw. Yeah, totally. We use our, we use our secret shuriken on people. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, the chest should be up here. Yeah, fuck, I gotta go this way. Oh, no worries. I don't know why I was- I don't know why I, I, I thought I can just walk over the fucking- <laughs> the chasm. Yeah, it's just one of Link's abilities, just hovering. I mean, you learn- you can do that in Ocarina, but for like a couple seconds. That's really it. Alright, there we go, nice. I mean... We already filled that up already, so it's not really gonna do shit. Um, hey, oh, look at that! Wow, 50 rupees! That's cool. Okay, so this can either be... Okay, is key... Is there uh, anything left? Let me see. Nope. Okay, that's it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. The entrance is not this way, it's down here. Wrong way. Fuck. Uh, what the fuck is the entrance? I think it was down this way. Nah. 
I mean, we already have it, so we're already full, so I don't think we really need it. <laughs> Alright, no worries, though. We get the hook shots. Did I? How did I forget the room? What the hell? Uh, no worries. I legit actually forgot the room. Huh. Hold up, was there anything over here? Oh yeah, no, I already got this. Ah, fuck. Damn it. I wanted to try to be fast about it. Ah, fucked up. Yeah, no worries. Alright, nice. I've made a grave mistake. I made a I made a mistake in my lapse of judgment. I, I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm just making fun of that video. <laughs> I mean, what he did was really stupid. I, I know this is like old. This is like 2018 news, but you know, fuck it. Who cares? I made a severe lapse in my in my judgment. <laughs> Yeah, film, f film a dude in the forest. Yeah, totally. I'm not going any further than that. If you know, you know. There we go, that's- that's the one. I make a mistake from time to time, so it happens. Eh, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, let me get these for the boss. I forgot what the- uh, No, it's that snake- it's that snake monster you fight. Yeah. The face one is from the next- is from the next dungeon, the face dungeon, I mean, of course. Yeah, then he says, then he says evil enemy, like giant fl floor face. You know what, floor face is very terrifying, actually, I've seen... You know what also is terrifying? Wall face. You may be asking, Lupin, where did you see wall face? Where the fuck is the key? No, I actually don't know. Did I miss it? N oh, shit. What did I do? Missing catfish, mall. You guys are more than welcome to chime in, too. Let's see, dungeon key. No, I don't want to subscribe to Polygon. I just want to fucking... I just want the location of the key. What the fuck? I really hate when, uh... I really hate when... When you want... When, like, guide company... Like, uh, people who make guides and shit always try to do that. It's really fucking... Like, no, I don't want to fucking... I don't want to subscribe to your channel, or... I don't want to fucking make a Polygon count. Like, just, dude, I just want to look this shit up. I'm, like, barely going to interact with this fucking site for the rest of my life. Do you think I'm going to fucking keep coming? I'm like, ooh, let me just do it. I wonder what's on the Polygod blog now. Like, no, I don't fucking care. You, you are very, uh, 
these sites are very irrelevant to me. You think I interacted with it on my day-to-day -day every single fucking day? No! Oh, I see. I just realized I got the Remix dungeon. Fuck, because they changed a couple things. We put DX so I knows what I'm talking about. He's located in the T junction of the of the main. Oh shit, we fast this poor fuck. I feel like a dumbass. Huh. Alright then. Sorry, I'm taking a second to look. Okay, take a take a, go straight down and then take a right. Gotcha. Equip a sword. I don't fucking care right now. I'm just trying to get through the fucking dungeon. And now for some reason I'm turning into Adam Sandler. You guys wanna go watch a movie? I call it Doodle Poopy Farts. I'm gonna get all my best friends, we're gonna go to Dubai. We're gonna spend billions of dollars on it, and you're gonna give me all your money, and then you're gonna say I'm the funniest man who ever lived. And then I'm gonna get Rob Schneider to pretend to be another race, and it's definitely not racist at all. You guys remember when that was a thing? For a while, like, Rob Schneider would just pretend to be a certain, like, a different race every movie. And he would always say the same line, You can do it! Look, I like... Look, I like some... There are some Happy... I know I make fun of Adam Sandler a lot, but there are some Happy Madison films I actually do really like. I, I like Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. That's it. Sometimes, ni little Nicky. Sometimes. Not all the time, though. Sometimes. And I swear to God, I thought Tr I thought Matt Stone was in the fucking movie, the guy who made South Park. But no, it's a different actor. I legit thought that was I legit thought for the time that was Mount that was. Wait, wait, am I am I confusing Trey Parker and Matt Stone? Hold up, let me see, let me see real quick. I want to make sure I'm saying the right guy because I'm gonna fucking somebody's not gonna let me live this down later. Okay, I said the right guy. Yeah, I legit thought Matt Stone was in this movie, was in fucking Little Nicky for a good amount of time, but no, it's like a different actor. I forgot his fucking name because I barely remember the fucking. I, fa I barely fucking remember the the fucking Little Nicky, the fucking Happy Madison crew. So. Wait, what? I think I got a bomb this wall. Hold up. T-shirt? Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Now open up this whole fucking guy. What? what? I don't want to know fucking Angler's Cavern. I'm trying to look at something else. Mm. 
Ah, uh, shit. I'm gonna have to go around. I'm gonna have to do a little fucking circling around him for a second. Give me a sec. Alright, let me, uh, equip this real quick. I can't blow this up, can I? No, okay. I'm not really using a guide, I'm just looking at another version of the map. A little, a little more legible. Was it down here? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, because I remember there was like an area I needed the fucking hook shot for. I think this was it, right? Sure. Yeah, this is okay. This is the room. I would have never fucking discovered this unless I found unless I unless I was looking at the fucking. I would, there, uh, so the the map I'm looking at. I know I keep sounding like I'm struggling to speak. Is the Switch version of the map, so that's why I was able to. Understand it a little bit better. Yeah, no worries. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes, yes, I am aware of that. Thank you, game. Thank you. The game's just trying to make sure we understand what it says. Shit, I just realized that I'm supposed to go north. I'm wondering, do I remember how to fight the boss? I think I do. I guess we'll find out. Sorry, I was checking something right now. Let's go fight this bastard. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. <laughs> the floor, it's giving out. What are we going to do? I forgot I can miss you like that. Look over here. Damn it. Oh, 
always kind of really like this boss fight. I thought it was really, kind of interesting. I like the sort of... I like how you can... You can pull, like, pull up the enemy before it attacks you and stuff. Though I will admit it does get a little annoying, but you know what? Eh, it's fine. There we go. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. Kihihi. What a fool. Kihihi. That you do go, he does go down like really easy though. So <laughs> nice. Woo. So next up, we need another heart piece, by the way. Which I think. Uh, hold up. Check my thing real quick. Oh yeah, that's right. I just say we only need like three more. Well, technically, f wait four. Wait what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me we're getting to that point. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure I got one. Got one at Yara Desert. That is fu- Look, I'm, I'm gonna check real quick. Okay, uh, the one in the well, yes. We got the one in- we got the one in the fishing hole. We got the one in the forest. We got the one in the mysterious woods- or sorry, the prairie. Oh, no, that's a mysterious words. I fucking can't read for some reason. I got the one in the wall. Got the one in the yard in the desert. Uh, yeah, I got the one in the cemetery. Got the one in... What the fuck is that? Telltale Cave? Yeah, I got Heights. Sorry, not Cave. I did not get nine. Oh, shit. I just realized what it... Okay, I, I made a mistake. I accidentally marked seven, but I, I I meant to mark nine, so that's on me. I see the mistake I made now. And then, uh... There's one of the Telltale Heights I didn't get. Okay, so that's one of them. So I just need 10, 11, and 12. Alright, cool. Sorry for that mishap. The Marimbas. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, I like that. is in the shrine hey look at that nice okay so i need to figure out where the hell this necklace goes to i think oh i think i'm supposed to give it to the um to the hippo uh who who's modeling for the painter i think so yeah that is in the animal village if i remember correctly so let's go ahead there and I think she gives me a comb, and then I give that to the mermaid. I'm just going off a of basic, not basic logic, but just whatever I can figure out in the next two, in the next couple of minutes. Wrong one. Is this one? No. Uh, I think it was one of these ones over here. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, there it is. And I think I talked to you. Go away! Yeah. I am the Donovi. The skewed Donovi. The mermaid statue by the, by the bay is my masterpiece. To tell you the truth, this work is not complete. The art is... The Difficult for you to grasp is not Okay, who do I give the necklace to? Let me see
Okay, so I traded the broom to the old lady, but who do I give the necklace to? Okay, I got the honeycomb. Traded that already. Got the watermelon, hibiscus. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! Oh! Oh shit, I feel like an idiot. I just realized what I give this to the mermaid. Is that actually what it's called? Is it called the mermaid? If it's good. Okay, I feel like an absolute idiot now. <laughs> oh man. I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, let me go let me go talk to the mermaid. Ah! That's it! That's my necklace! Give it! Give it back! I'll give you a scale as I forgot you give me a scale. Whoa, 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 Link, what are you doing? What are you doing there, buddy? You removed her flesh. Nice, cool. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, so next up is the face shrine now. For the boss, we do need kind of a good amount of bombs, so I'm gonna stock up on those in a minute. But, uh, I did say I was gonna get the bow in it. But first, I wanna go get take the scale to the mermaids. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I put the- I put the missing scale in this mermaid statue. Sweet. Oh. That's not what I was looking for. This will reveal many things to you. You couldn't see before. Ah, oh, man. I was kind of hoping for a boomerang in all honesty. Who gives you the boomerang? I legit thought that was gonna give me the boomerang. Oh man, I'm sad now. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you do get the boomerang in this tree. I, I was gonna give up hope for a moment. You do get the boomerang, yay. Ha hallelujah. I knew a guy who used to quote Medea all the time and he thought it was the funniest shit in the world. Nobody talks to him anymore. Every- I swear to god this man would always go, Ah, oh, hallelujah. Every every day, it's it was always Medea quotes. Yeah, I, I'm not like I'm not bullshitting. This guy legit would quote Medea way too fucking much, and it got too it got very annoying fast. Because I don't know if he knows, Medea is not funny. I don't I don't care. I'll die on this. I'll die on this. I don't give a fuck. I don't think Medea is funny at all. I remember, uh, I remember there was this really cute girl who asked me out to go see, I think it was Medea Scared Stupid or something. No, that's, that's not what it's called. What's it called? Scared the hell? Scared Straight or something? I don't know. But I fucking, how do I explain this? Uh, I just remember, I remember what, I was considering it because I'm like, man, this girl's kind of cute though. I, I, but am I gonna am I gonna sacrifice my sanity over some really cute girl? And I was like, nah, I ain't no simp. No, I'm kidding. I didn't go see the movie though. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really into. The, I've seen what Medea movie did I fucking see? I don't, I don't fucking remember. I just remember saying I don't want to ever watch this shit again.
This is a guy who's seen. This is a guy who's seen like like the room several times. All right, fuck yeah. See, guys, look. If you don't, if you if you pay if you pay the right bills, you won't get zapped to death. At least that's what my mother always told me. She's like, "Don't rob her. You're gonna get killed." What country is this? It's just like, 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 I don't know if it's a true law, but there's like legit a country where they'll take your hand or something if you get caught stealing. I'm like, remind me to be on my best behavior when I go to that country. I don't know if that's true or not, I just remember reading something like that. Could be wrong, I don't fucking know. Oh, you can only hold there. Oh! I legit thought you can hold more bombs. Foolish me. So we need like two more items. So they like take the magnifying gas to down here, down here, down here. I said magnifying gas. Uh, I said magnifying, I heard that. Magnifying. Oh yeah, that's right, the ghost house I gotta go see. The guy who wanted to fucking shut the fuck up the whole time, he's like, Oh, you should show me. I've had a good item washed up on the shore, on the beach. I'll trade it for you for, for what you have in bay. What item do I give you? What item do I give you? Like, legit. Okay, uh... Once you have Marta Bay, I am warped to the Marta Bay along the beach, there's Tor Torbano Shores, you will see a crack in the wall, bomb it, and once you'll see a visible moblin, he will offer you a boomerang, but there's a catch, you'll have to trade on one of your precious items for it. Give him the sh give him the shovel. Before I give him the shovel, I want to make sure I, there's no fucking hidden seashells. No, 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 young. Okay. Why am I breathing? I don't know why I'm breathing. Doing that. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the seashell. Okay, I'll take this, this in your pocket. Oh, that's not P, that's us. Uh, it's my sword. It's my sword. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Alright, there we go. Yeah, take it. I'll trade in my shovel for it. Woo! Magic boomerang, baby. This thing's fucking. This thing's fucking yoked. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Put out a fucking boomerang. I feel like if you gave this to Sokka from Avatar, this dude would fucking nut his pants. This guy had a hard on for boomerangs. And I respect because boomerangs are pretty fucking cool. They hurt like hell if you hit yourself in the face with one, but. It's still pretty lit. Remember my brother bought a boomerang once and he fucking pe he fucking pegged my other he fucking dinged my other brother in the head with and it was really funny. <laughs> okay, that is 17. Alright, so this means we now have 20. Or sorry, 19. Your friend your your buddy Lupin can't count for some reason. He's he's not he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, it's on the face shrine. I need I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'm gonna be right back. I'll be back in a moment, give me a sec.
Oh, what's up, babe? How's it going? Let's uh, let's get back to what we're doing. Uh. Okay, so how many how many of these? I need six. I still need six. I need twenty one. I need twenty two. I need twenty three. I need twenty four. I need twenty five. I need twenty six. Uh, if you don't know what I'm counting, I'm counting the. I'm counting. I can't even fucking count for some reason. <laughs> Uh, I'm counting the seashells, the secret seashells I need. I believe I need 20 in total to get the to get this upgraded sword, which I'm gonna do right now. Yeah. I believe in it. Yeah, I just need one more. What's like one I can get right now? Because the next one I see, which is 21, I need the sec. Shit! I almost dropped like. My Game Boy on the floor, I mean. I don't know anything about no controller. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking crazy. Yeah. Just fucking gaslight everybody into believing this is a controller. One thing I do get, I do got to check though is I need um a hero. I'm holding on to a hero to the end of the night. He's gotta be fast. He's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be larger than life. I'm gonna be honest, I like I Need a Hero, but I don't know why the fuck it was in the Super Mario movie. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, you don't get in there. there. I, I got that one, right? I think I did. Let me see real quick, hold up. Yeah, I wanna... Ch so before we go into the, um... Into the face shrine. I want to. I want to get that second upgrade to the sword. Cause it's fucking sick, bro. What am I doing? I can just swim. What the fuck am I doing? I can. Just, I can literally just go in the water. Why am I taking shortcuts? I can just do this. I can't drown anymore. Link doesn't know, understand the concept of drowning anymore. When he gets flippers, Link, for some reason, can just breathe under what? Yo, what's up, girl? An artist once asked me to pose for him, and he wanted a skill. He wanted a skill, too. Can the legend of the mag magnifying glass be true? Yeah? I didn't even know that there was a legend of the magnifying glass. Cool. Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm looking at the uh okay, so there's the one at Cane Lake Castle and there's also one at Telltale Heights. I need the legendary rooster though. Oh, that's right, that's the one with the gap. That is such a. It's probably one of my favorite Zelda songs, honestly. So it's a really. Shit. It's a really nice song, and I always, I always enjoy hearing it. And I really did like the when the remake came out. That's like one of the songs I was really excited to hear. I was like, oh shit, they better have a better version of this. Oh yeah, this is how I get to the Southern Shrine. Oot! There are two shrines, one to the north and the other to the south. First, head south, where ancient ruins speak of the Windfish. You will learn much there. Alright, how the fuck do I get to the southern one? Hold up. I think if I remember correctly, I'm, I'm supposed to go up. I need to go to the castle first, that's why, before I come over here. At least I have a way into the- fuck, goddammit, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Oh, okay. 
explosions that happened 20 feet above my head still hurt me. It's like it's like in uh, it's like in Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde when an explosion happens behind you, it pulls you into it because of the gravitational pull because that makes fucking sense. I'm not kidding. That's an actual thing that happens in Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. That's such one. Do you guys like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde? I love it. It's fucking great. I love playing that fucking god awful game. You don't even know what half the shit is going on. You're fucking. And two seconds later, you're fuck. Two seconds later, you're like walking through the streets of London. And then two seconds later, you tune in there. Where we'll start flinging shit at random eyeballs. That's actual gameplay of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I no, no, I've never read the book of Doctor. I've seen. I've actually seen a little bit of that Broadway musical, starring. Funny enough. David Hasselhoff, I completely forgot his name for a sec. He actually was in a Broadway musical once. I swear to God, that was a, that was a very weird thing. The fucking Hasselhoff himself. Where he plays Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for some reason. And he's not a bad singer. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He, David Hasselhoff's pretty... Got some pipes on him. You guys remember when David Hasselhoff just randomly showed up in the Spongebob movie? And fired Spongebob and Patrick with his pecs. I mean, I, we're now at a point where the younger generation, I hate to say that because I don't like, I sound like an old fucking dying man when I say that shit, but I gotta, I gotta grasp my mortality at this point. Um, I had a conversation with a younger cousin of mine recently. And I was talking to him, but I was talking about this, I was talking about 2004's The Spongebob Movie. And they had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. And they were like, wait, that happened? Like, they're familiar with Spongebob. I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with Spongebob. Your grandma's familiar with Spongebob, and she's been in a hospice home for, like, three years. You should go see her, man. But, um... I was talking, and we were just like, oh, yeah, yeah, they, dude, they made, like, a lot, they made, like, two Spongebob movies. I was like, no, they made, they made three. He goes, when did they make it the third one? I was like... I was like, two the first one was made in 2004, and he was like, there was a first- They made one in 2004? I was like, yeah, they did. How do you not know that? And he goes, dude, I only thought there was one in 2015, and the one that came out, was it, 2022? I don't fucking remember when that, that shitty, that shitty fucking 3D one came out. But, uh, I was explaining, it was like, yeah, Spongebob and Patrick have to, uh, recover the crown of King Poseidon. Or King Neptune, sorry. Sorry, Spongebob. Sorry, Spongebob lore fans. I apologize for not getting the lore right. My apologies. You can you can crucify me later. But uh, it's I was I was just explaining the plot to the Spongebob movie and I got to the part where they started talking about David Hasselhoff. He at least knows who David Hasselhoff is. Even I barely know who the fuck he is half the fucking time. But uh and I explained to the part where they where he gets fucking where they get fired from their chest, and there's a fight scene that happens on David Hasselhoff, and that's when he was like, "Dude, you're you're fucking with me. You're just making this shit up." I will admit, in the past, I've made a lot of crazy things up as a joke to fuck with like friends and stuff or family members. But this was an actual like serious thing, and this whole time, this dude legit believed, thought I was just fucking with him the whole time. And then I show him the scene in question. He was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then after that, we watched the SpongeBob movie, and it was really fun. It was a really good experience, and I'm, I'm glad I got to share that experience with my younger cousin. So that was pretty cool. He was like ten, so I mean, Jesus, I made some people feel old. Yeah, that means he was born in 2013. Oh, <laughs> you feel old yet? Are you, are you fucking grasping your immortality, your inevitable end? Hmm? You're getting old. Your body's wrinkling. It's decaying. There's nothing you can do about it. Look at- go look in the mirror. You've aged- you've aged five minutes. you've aged five minutes. There's nothing you can do about it. No cream's gonna solve it. No Botox, alright? Yeah, actually, if you get Botox, you're probably gonna look fucking terrifying. Look like a fucking look like a fucking high elf from Skyrim. That's mean. I'm sorry. That, that, that's mean to say. I shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't say that. Whatever. It's funny. 
I legit- okay, I'm not gonna lie. I one time did see somebody with like, like a lot of, like a lot of like plastic surgery. And I shit you not, they really did look like a Skyrim character, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm one of those people, if I, if I just start, like if shit starts sagging on me and stuff, I'm just gonna let it happen, I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not too self-conscious about it, but I mean, at that point, I'm just like, you know, whatever, fuck it, it's happening. Fuck it. I, need, I think I need the, uh, oh yeah, I, this is the one I needed the fucking hookshot for. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. This is why you don't eat before a recording, because then you get all fucking burpy for some reason. This is, this is why nowadays, when I before I stream, I don't eat for like four hours beforehand. Because I know I'm going to get burpy, I know. This is going to happen, it's, it's gross. But I wasn't, technically I wasn't intending to stream right now, I just did it because I couldn't really sleep and I didn't really have anything to do today, so I was just like, you know what, fuck it, let's play some Zelda. It's like 6 in the morning right now, but you know, hey, I don't care. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Yeah, you go down here. I ain't gonna lie though, this theme slaps. I like how when you go in the water, there's more percussion. The percussion just stops. <laughs> that's, that's a night. Nice, did you notice that? Watch, watch, listen, listen. <laughs> this is really cool. I wonder if you can hear me. <laughs> okay, for a second I thought you couldn't. And that up a little bit. I go over here and it, go it goes back. <laughs> so cool. I just noticed that right now. That's actually really neat. I like I like when uh, I like when old old games do that and stuff. It's always a nice little detail. Yeah, I figured something was bombable there. Fucking let me go up. You push here. Just joy. Oh crap, I did that wrong. What did he tell me? I want to want to try to solve it because I... Oh man. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. That fucking blows. That really does. Oh man. That hurts. Alright, that's 20. But on the list, that's marked as 21. We're missing one. We're missing six, that's why. So. That's why it's like 20. Okay, but speaking of which, we gotta go. This is the wrong song I played. I ain't gonna lie though, this song slaps. Bum 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 Then you learn the frog song from Wart from Super Mario Brothers 3. Where the fuck is the Where was the um secret seashell? Oh is it is that it? I think that was. I gotta remember how to get to the fucking prairie though, so give me a sec. 
Well, as I as I jog my memory. No. Okay, cool. This motherfucker pushed me. That, that was actually very kind of him to do that. that. That was actually really nice, so thank you for that, spooky creature. Okay, so down here... All the stuff that requires me to dig with the shovel, I, I'm pretty sure I did it all. So we should be fine. Oh... Should be enough. I'm gonna. Hopefully, let's go see. I'll just go. If I remember, yeah, you just go straight up here. Yeah, houses. Leave down. You go down this way and take a look right, right here. Yep, there it is. This is the way. Do you know? You guys remember when that meme was funny for like 22 seconds? And then every high schooler did it. And like that, guys, we're gonna catch Zapdos. Look at that, we got the short, we got the dream sword. This sword allows you to prevent yourself from taking the normal pills. That's what the mask is! I wear a mask for hours with a smile on its face. That's what the mask is! Uh, by the way, what time is it? It is... I don't know why I'm doing that. It is seven. No, it's six. What the fuck is wrong with me? Technically, what do you get for the final thing on the C show? What do you get? Uh, prize 22 secret? You get all picking up all of them. You have the cutscenes and moves. The only guy where you get the sword. Congratulations! That really it? Okay. Just gonna close that. I thought there was. I thought there would probably be more stuff, but there. It doesn't look like there is. Ah, no worries. Cool. Alright, uh... Oh, that's right, yeah, the one at the Animal Village, I gotta go do that. Talking about the heart piece. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, no worries though, my accidents happen, just look at me. <laughs> Funny self-deprecation humor. What all the Millennials and the Gen Zers like, right? <laughs> Alright, but in all seriousness, let's go get that, uh, let's go get that heart piece now. It's been a good minute since we last went. It's beautiful. I love how everybody's just trying to enjoy a concert and then they just, they just see some dickhead running around with the sword. It's me, I'm the dickhead.
Oh yeah, that's right. I blew. I, I forgot. <laughs> I blew this up. I just needed the hook shot. All right, no worries. I forgot what I did here. Yeah. I technically now did not need to buy the bow and arrow, but you know what? Fuck it. We'll call it. We'll call it completionist. Okay, so we need like. What is that? Ten. Yeah, that's ten. So now, shit. So now all we, we need four more hearts in total, but we need for heart pieces we only need two. So not bad. Nice. I'm proud of us. Okay, so uh I gotta get some magic powder, so I'm gonna go do the trendy game real quick. We'll just play the fucking fish song. Fiaush. That's Swedish for fish. What is Swedish for fish? I want to look that up. Swedish. I'm gonna try my- I'm gonna probably butcher this, but I want to see what Swedish for fish means. For hello? Because I want to- one day when I meet PewDiePie, I want to know the fisk. It's just fisk. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh, this was a ruddy. Okay. Okay, I want you guys to I want you guys to guess what I'm saying what it's saying. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, I don't know if I Alright, let's see. <laughs> That's a long one. I'm gonna put I'm gonna replace certain words. Hold up. They say the N word in it, so that's why I got I gotta replace it before because it's, it's just straight up just gonna say the N word. I, I'm not I'm not say, I'm not trying to say the N word in Swedish, but it's a song I'm I'm trying to say. So just give me a sec real quick so I can. Damn it! I gave it away, but you know, hey. Just replacing. The N word with friends, and then we should be good. How many N words is it? That's a lot of N words. All right, here you guess this phrase. Here, good luck. Jag satte den nya porgis på dyken. Jag fäller till de blodiga bottnarna. Är under för alla mina vänner. Sitter ut på gatan. Jag har hundra ställ i mina jeans. Jag minns att jag åkte till köpcentret med. Hela laget nu kan en vän inte svara på samtal för att jag är ute. Jag höll på att vakna och skaffade hyllor på morgonen. Jag var pank. Nu är jag rik. Dessa vänner salsa. This is what it was saying. I put the new forges on the jeep I trap until the bloody bottoms is underneath cause all my friends got it out the streets. I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans. I remember hit in the mall with the whole team. Now a friend can't answer calls cause I'm ballin. I was whacking up. Get in racks in the morning, I was broke. Now I'm rich, these friends salty. I just realized I was muted there the whole time, but uh, I hope you guys you. I played the song, so now you can have fun with it. <laughs> and I know Roddy Richie did that song, so... Cool. I haven't listened to- in all honesty, I haven't listened to a lot of his songs, so... It's like that and like The Boxer, like the only two songs I've heard from him. I might- 
might do, I might check out his stuff, honestly. Because I do kind of want to look up some more, like, rap and stuff. I don't listen to a lot, in all honesty. Because every time I ask, like, friends and stuff, I always get, like, fucking inconsistencies. Where I'll just be like, nah, man, don't listen to this, listen to this shit. And, and then another friend will be like, nah, man, don't listen to that shit, listen to this shit. And I'm like, dude, I don't fucking know, I don't know. Alright, whatever. I'm always open. I don't really have much- I have a music preference, but in all honesty, I'm always open to hearing fucking anything. Just don't send me, like, fucking Ram Ranch for the 40th time. I've, I have a friend who's just been sending me legit ver different versions of Ram Ranch. And I don't know how I keep falling for it. It's, it's really funny at this point, but... Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I'll tell you what, we'll sing Ram Ranch by the end of the stream. And then hopefully my roommate walks in and sees what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> the fuck do I want to do? Uh, I think I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can do right now? Is it already at like two hours, so I don't know if I want to do another dungeon. I think what we'll do next time is we'll try to do two dungeons. Oh, oh, actually, hold on. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, we need the, we need, uh... We have to wait a little bit before we do this one. Yeah, these last two are, are tied to, um, what you call it? Uh, some... Why the fuck can I remember it for some reason? Uh, they're tied to the dungeons, that's why. Uh, okay. Uh, so, I th hopefully by next time we should be able to do Eagle's Tower and, uh, the Face Shrine in one stream. I gotta, I might, I'm gonna be honest though, with the Eagle's Tower, I always get really fucking confused with that, so. Yeah. Uh, but if you're watching this on YouTube, I wanna thank you so much for making it to the end, and I will see you next time. But if you're here for Twitch, I got a little something.